Hey everybody, Pookie TVX. The saddest shit I've seen today, man. If Martin Luther King Jr. and Malcolm X was here, man. Ain't no telling what would have happened, man. If they would have seen Floyd and the way Floyd just threw his people under the bus for some greenbacks. Damn. Mm, mm, mm. They say money is the root of all evil. And to make you turn on your own people. People trying to do a protest. And then you have people like this that go on a platform and say that it's okay. When you know he got people inspiring to him, want to be him. You know, looking up to them and, you know, fans all over the world, everywhere, man. And him to say some ignorant shit like that, man. And just, I mean, where are we going as a people, man? I mean, what, what do we even know anything about, about being together, being one, you know, Respecting what all our people done been through and fighting and striving to get to where you can even get into outside of a ring and box for that type of money. Do you know like the Ruben, the Hurricane Carters, you know, Joe Lewis's and uh, all these past people, man, that, that, that been through all types of racism, man, to get to where you can fight in the ring for that type of fucking money. Or you could even be a successful person if these people didn't go through shit like that every day on TV, every day in their face. Where are we, man? Well, I mean, where are we as a people, man? What, 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 what are we doing, man? If you don't stand for nothing, you fall for everything, man. It was it was a slap in the face. It was like it was like being being punched by the nigga. Watching his ass walk inside fucking Gucci and buy out the whole goddamn bottom half and say he ain't following nobody. He living his best life. Fuck a boycott. He a boy on a yacht non-reading motherfucker if you i hope when you do fight pacquiao that he beat the goddamn brakes off your ass i'm going all out on pacquiao i'm telling you right now if it's a fight i'm going all out on fucking pacquiao i don't give a fuck i hope he knocked the goddamn i hope he knocked the goddamn civil rights out your ass nigga i hope he knocked some goddamn respect Damn, Floyd. I know you ain't learned nothing in school, but damn, nigga. You ain't learned nothing about history and how it repeats itself. Or you just sold your soul out so much for that fucking mighty dollar. It's sad, man. It's, 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 it's. It's just sad how we just can't never all be on one page, man. It's always going to be a person like that, man. It's just going to jump out and say some outlandish shit. And then you got the people that's going to go behind them and do the same shit and start wearing their shit. And, and Gucci just sit back and laugh like, look, I told you we can do whatever we want to these niggas, man. Just make, make a beanie next time. So they can pull it down and match it up to the fucking lips. Make a, make a fucking beanie. Floyd will buy it. I think you don't know how stupid you fucking looked, man. You thought that was the flyest shit, nigga. And it made you look like... 
Like a Don King motherfucker. It made you look like a fucking... A house nigga, man. That's what it made you look like, fam. A fucking house nigga. You must have been punched in the head too many goddamn times because you don't understand heritage and the struggle black people been through so you can be to where you at, man. You blessed right now, man. And look what you do. Look how you handle it. You know, it's people that don't hate, man, and that's proud of people that's successful and that made it, man. But I say it all the time, man. If I had to have money to be like that, I don't want it. I'm fine where I'm at. I'm comfortable where I'm at, man. With my soul intact. With my blackness intact. Knowing what's right and what's wrong. Knowing what side of the fucking fence I'm on. And you can lay in the bed tonight with them white bitches. And them bodyguards and all that money. And think about the black people that was sprayed down in the streets in the 60s that have been lynched, burnt, skinned alive, picking cotton from night in to, to fucking morning, breaking up their families, taking their daughters, taking their kids, taking their moms away from them, putting them in different plantations, raping them. Raping them. And you sit back in your mansion, Floyd, in peace and living your best life. Fucking sell out.